I'm in long-term recovery myself. So it's been nine years and uh, 10 months and uh, 13 days today. And one of my passions is to help people uh, just like I was helped to get into recovery. Uh, it's not something anybody can do alone. My name is Stephen Little. I uh, moved here from Lexington, Kentucky uh, with my family, my wife and two kids and two other families um, to start City Church Huntington. Um, so pastor of City Church Huntington and also the Huntington Area Recovery Coordinator for AmeriCorps Vista. My name is Amber Wilfong Knight. Um, I am a counselor. I work with the Huntington Comprehensive Treatment Center and I work with QRT part-time. And I'm Larissa Cox. I'm a paramedic here at Campbell County and I, I guess I'm a full-time person with QRT. QRT it stands for Quick Response Team. What happens is whenever there's a, a 911 call for an overdose, and uh, there's a response by the EMS or fire department. Uh, when they respond to the individual, they leave them a card and say, hey, within 72 hours, someone from the QRT will be talking to you. It's more direct because we're going to someone's house. People that you wouldn't typically talk to, because um, mm -hmm. we all stereotype everybody. So right. um, personally, I've met so many people that I, have this, I guess, connection with now because I would have never talked to him if it weren't for QRT. And um, it's so simple to judge somebody just by looking at them or, you know, watch, seeing them on drugs or overdose. And it's mm -hmm. very, very easy to judge that person. But when you get to know somebody, know their story and how they got to where they were, um, it opens it makes, your eyes. Yeah. 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 It's easy to put a, a number on somebody and call them a statistics when in actuality it's a person. Uh, it's an individual, uh, often with traumatic life experiences. Uh, and so when we're able to go and meet the people, often in their home environment, I mean, these are just people. I mean, uh, they, uh, they've had a hard time and uh, they didn't get in that shape overnight and largely won't get out of that shape overnight. So it, can, it requires a a consistent, continual intervention 